This is a very fun maths Olympiad problem. We've got the numbers one, two, three, four, and five, and they're used once each in this expression, substituting for the letters M, A, T, H, and S in this tower of powers, M to the A to the T to the H to the S. In how many of the arrangements is the units digit of the value of this expression equal to one? So we want to know if I substitute in one, two, three, four, and five for M, A, T, H, and S, how many times do I get one as the last digit of the answer? So have a go at this question before you watch the solution. The key to this one is really to split it into cases. And the order to do it is really to think about M first, the ultimate base of all of these powers. So just to make things a bit easier, I'm gonna call that tower of powers N, so I can refer to it a little bit more easily in my solution here. And the first cases I'm going to think about are if m equals 2 or m equals 4, right? Because then I'll have 2 to the power of some large number or 4 to the power of, of some large number. But ultimately, uh, that n will be even. And so there's no way uh, that it can end in a 1. Similarly, if we had m equals 5, then the units digit would be 5 because I'd have 5 to the power of something, right? And any power of 5 uh, ends in 5 and not 1. So I can immediately eliminate uh, the cases 2, 4, and 5 for m. Now, I've thought about this in advance, so I'm doing these cases from easiest to hardest. Uh, so the next case would be m equals 1. Because I've got 1 to the power of anything, then n will always be 1, right? 1 to any power, however big, is just going to be 1 times 1 many, many times, and it'll be 1, so its units digit will be 1. So I can do any arrangement of a, t, h, and s. And so the number of uh, ways of doing that is 4 factorial, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24, right? There's 4 choices for A, and then 3 choices left for T, 2 choices left for H, and then uh, S is fixed. So we've got 24 ways where M is equal to 1 that this problem can be solved. And then the hardest case to think about is M equals 3. So if you think about the powers of 3, 3 to the 1 is 3, 3 squared is 9, 3 cubed is 27, 3 to the 4 is 81, 3 to the 5 is 243, and so on. What happens is that the last digits will cycle 3, 9, 7, 1, 3, 9, 7, 1, because the product of the last digits is just the last digit of the product. That's something we talk a lot about in my Go for Gold in Maths Challenge courses over at Mathsaurus, where, by the way, there are lots of free courses for Maths Challenges and Olympiads you can have a go at. So the fact that we get into this cycle means that for a unit's digit of 1, we need something like 3 to the 4, or 3 to the 8, or 3 to the 12, right? So we need uh, the a to the t to the h to the s part to be a multiple of 4, and then I'll have 3 to a multiple of 4, and then it will end in a 1. Now, clearly, that can only happen if uh, a is even. If a was odd, uh, I'll have 1, 3, or 5 uh, raised to some power, and we're not going to end up with uh, an even number, so we're not going to end up with a multiple of 4. So we just have to consider the two cases where a is either 2 or 4, and a equals 4 is the slightly easier of those two cases, because if a is 4, then any choice of t, h, and s will make a to the t to the h to the s a multiple of 4, because I'll have 4 to the power of something, and 4 times 4 times 4, whatever, is always going to be a multiple of 4. So again, there are three factorial, which is six uh, such arrangements for that, because I can take any choice for uh, t, h, and s once I've fixed a is 4, so three choices for t, two choices for h, and finally just one choice left for s, so three times two times one. And then the final case we've got to consider is when a equals two, right? Now this one's slightly harder because if t is one, then a to the t to the h to the s will be two to the one to the something, so it'll just be two to the one, which is two, and so that one won't be a multiple of four. But if t equals four or five, which remember are our other choices, because we've got m is 3 and a is 2 here, so t has to be 1, 4, or 5, uh, then any choice of h and s that follows will make a to the t uh, to the uh, h to the s a multiple of 4. That's because I will have a 2 to a power that's bigger than 1, so there'll be at least a 2 times 2 uh, if I wrote it all out as a power of 2, so it'll be at least a multiple of 4. And so there are 2 times 2 uh, or 4 uh, such arrangements for that to happen, because I've got 
uh, the four that can go with either the one and the five, and then the five that can go with either the one or the four. So that's four different uh, arrangements. And now we've considered all of the different cases. So we've considered all the different possible cases now, and all we've got to do then is to conclude and say in total, we add those together and we get 24 plus six plus four, or 34 arrangements for which the units digit of n is equal to one. So well done if you managed to get anywhere with that. And if you want to work through more Olympiad problems like this with me, I'll put another one on the screen now.